she came in with an empty cup and just tried to put some soda into it. I said, hey, you, you got to pay for that. And she said, oh, I was just sitting outside. I'm coming back in for a refill. And he, and he said, no, you weren't. And so she, she started cursing him out and, hey, how can you accuse me of stealing? And Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I've got a new Osmo Pocket 3 camera I wanted to try out today. Purpose of this video, I wanted to share a short story about uh, an incident I had at a restaurant just, just a few minutes ago. And I also want to see what the quality of this camera is like. But I, I walked into a restaurant and walked up to the counter and I was as I was getting ready to place my order, I noticed the store manager he motioned over to a couple of young guys and he said, Hey, uh, that, that soda in those cups, you just, you just asked for a cup for water. You didn't pay for that. And they were kind of like, well, you know, they were, they were about to walk out and he said, wait just a minute. I've got a customer to deal with. So he came up and, uh, attended to me and I was about to get my order. And I said, you know, it looks like you've got, you got a lot of challenges here. Don't you? He said, yeah, all the time. I said, what's your name? He said, my name's Arvell. I said, well, Arvell, my name is Chris, and I want you to know I'm, I'm going to be praying for you because I know you're dealing with a lot of things uh, that's going on. So he took my order, and then th those other two young guys, are they're standing there, and he just, you know, he, he basically let them go. And he, he knew he wasn't get, going to get money out of them. Um, so anyway, they walk out of the store, and uh, I'm kind of waiting there for my order, and he comes up and hands me my tray of food. And I said, Arvell, yeah, again, I just want you to know I'm, I'm praying for you. I know you got a lot of challenges here. And he said, man, I really appreciate that. I mean, I could tell what I was. He, he was really discouraged. He was down. I said, this kind of stuff happened a lot? He said, oh, you wouldn't believe it. Um, he said, you know, the other day a lady, a lady came by, I watched her, she pulled into the parking lot, she came in with an empty cup and just tried to put some soda into it. And I said, hey, you, you got to pay for that. And she said, oh, I was just sitting outside, I'm coming back in for a refill. And he, and he said, no, you weren't. And so she, she started cursing him out and, hey, how can you accuse me of stealing and this and that. And he said, well, I just saw you pull into the lot. I know you weren't here. I know you weren't sit you know, sitting here just coming in for a refill. So I just shared a little bit with him about trying to focus in on what is real uh, in terms of our, you know, how can we deal with all this craziness going on in the world right now? And I said, you know, it, it's like the world's going nuts and people are just kind of kind of off their rocker. He said, absolutely. I said, you know, I have a faith in the Lord Jesus, and I believe what the Bible says. Because he said, you know, I just thought with all this technology and everything going on in the modern day, I thought things would be getting better. I said, well, according to the scripture, I think we can expect things to actually get worse. You know, we may have good times and bad times, but before the end of the age, before the Lord comes back, we can expect a lot of trials and tribulations and it is not, it's not going to be easy. So I shared with him, I said, the, the way that I deal with life, I have to have an eternal hope. I have to have something, a foundation upon which I can put my trust. I have my security. And that's the Lord Jesus. And I shared a little bit with him about the story of Noah. I said, God called Noah to build an ark to save him and his family, his household, and all the animals. I said, you know, it was interesting. All of the all the people of the world at that time were corrupt. They uh, were sinful people. Uh, you know, then in the New Testament, the Lord says that in the last days, it will be as it was in the days of Noah. Now, I don't know how, th how, how bad things are going to get, and I'm certainly not you know, excited about that, but I do believe what the scripture says is true. And if we don't have faith and confidence in the Lord Jesus, and we don't have some uh, type of salvation uh, or rooted in a foundation uh, in our trust in the Lord, I don't know how people get by. I really don't. Uh, so Arville said, man, that, you know, that makes me feel a lot better today. I said, well, I'm glad it does. You know, I'm glad I can encourage you. And so that's 
that's what I try to do wherever I go. I want to encourage you guys to do the same. You know, share your faith. If you don't have any faith, uh, take a look at the scripture. If you haven't opened the Bible in a while, um, leave a comment uh, down below if you've got any questions for me about Christianity, a biblical worldview, why do I believe what I believe. I would be more than happy to share what I know. I'm not an expert. I don't claim to have all the answers, but I've often said I, I know the one that has the answers, and that's the Lord. Yeah, it's just a stressful time for so many people, and I don't know who's going to watch this video. Or you know, some people I think when they when they see a video about the Bible or Christianity, they just just they just tune out, they click it off. But maybe you're watching this now and you're still listening, and you you might be struggling with some things in your personal life. Maybe you're questioning, what is my life? really about. I was telling a guy at work just just uh, two days ago, I said, you know, I'm, I'm 53 years old now. If the Lord tarries and he gives me health and he gives me more years of my life, for example, if I live to be 83, 30 more years, that's about 10,000 days. You know, 10,000 days, what am I going to do with all that time? Am I going to strive and stress and try to accomplish something just out of some sort of selfishness or am I going to use those 10,000 days that I have left to do something um, for God's kingdom and so I've been thinking about that a lot lately been praying to the Lord been uh, studying devotions different passages of Scripture and I'm convinced that at least every day we need to be doing something to encourage others to point their focus to the Lord um, Jesus says in Matthew 6 33 seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things you have need of will be added unto you you know we may not always get what we want but I do believe God will give us what we need and I've been really quite privileged in my life I I'm not a, a wealthy person by any any stretch but I've had the opportunity to travel to a lot of different places as you can see from a lot of the videos on this website and I've had the opportunity to meet a lot of people experience a lot of different cultures uh, religions different worldviews philosophies and even though I've studied all that I keep coming back to a scriptural foundation in the Lord Jesus um, yeah, I don't really know where to uh, end this video, but I wanted to share this story about that individual in that restaurant today that is dealing with this, I'll just call it a, you know, a, a super selfish mentality that people think they can run around and do what they want. There'll be no consequences. But again, back to what the scripture says, there are consequences. And we have to think about what we're doing each day and what is our priority, what's our focus, what is God asking me to do. I was actually sharing last night with another friend. I, I haven't talked to this woman in years. Um, and she just, she texted me and she said, when is Jesus coming back? <laughs> and and she's, she's not a, a Christian. She actually has some quite liberal views, and so I shared with her what I know about it. But but what I'm seeing is even people in my life that have never really had, uh, let's say, an interest or any conviction or any desire to know the Lord, to know the Bible, to know things about God uh, at any deeper level or any even on the surface level. There just hasn't been a desire there. I see those people because of circumstances that they see the world and they, even unbelievers, I, I'd have to say even an atheist knows that things are not right. Things, they, the world just feels unsettled because it is. Because many parts of society are unraveling. We're accepting many sinful practices. There's selfishness. In the book of Judges, it says everyone did what was right in their own eyes. That may be the second Kings, somewhere in the Old Testament. 
But that's what I see today. Everybody is doing what was right in their own eyes. All right, guys, I look at the timer here. It's been running about 10 minutes. I appreciate you listening. Uh, I'm going to be spending the next few months I, I've, telling a lot of different travel stories and relating them to scriptural principles, uh, things that I hope will help people to look at the world a little bit differently from a biblical worldview, help them to think about their own salvation, their own eternity, where they are with their creator. So I'm going to be telling a lot, you know, I've had people say, well, you've been to all these countries and you've done all these uh, neat things. Why don't you start telling some of those stories? So I'm going to do a long series of YouTube videos in between some of my missionary travels and some of my different uh, work, uh, you know, projects. Uh, just going to spend a lot of time putting videos out, sharing those stories. I hope it can be an encouragement to you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I would ask you to do that. And I will do my best just to share from my heart, be open, and you can follow along with me on this journey that is not always easy. Life can be, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty rough sometimes. But yeah, let's go back to the words of Jesus. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. The Lord is saying, seek ye first me today and all these things will be added unto you. And those things, that fruit of the Spirit, the joy, peace, the contentment, the satisfaction, uh, all those things that I believe people desire for their soul, people want to be at rest and they want to be calm and peaceful. And uh, so I pray for you guys today. Hope the day's going well. And I'll see you in the next video. God bless you.